Whiskey Tango, Oscar Bravo. Welcome to Outside the Bunker. So today, it's gonna to be well outside the bunker because I'm in Kalgoorlie. Wonderful, historic old Kalgoorlie. Came up on the Prospector train. I was gonna show you some footage of the Prospector train and me making up some food, which I'll go into in a second, but it's COVID land and I had to wear a mask and everybody else is wearing masks and it probably wouldn't be the best thing for me to start making a video in, in a train. So I thought better of it. It would have been a shit video. Um, I'll do better this time. Um, yep, so Stain, sponsored by <laughs> Carvan Coffee from Leaf Bean Machine in Bibber Lake here in Perth. Um, fantastic. See you below. They roast their own beans. Uh, this is Blue Bianca. Nice. So I, wrote, I ground that up this morning, had it for breakfast on the train, and then during the journey, I had some rehydrated food. So also this weekend, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bit of review on old school versus new school. So old school, this is, uh, so th I dug this out of my old pack. It's rehydrated, freeze dries food, fairly bulletproof. It's a little bit past its use by date, but hey, fuck it, we're preppers. Let's live on the edge. It's been stored in fairly climatic conditions. Uh, look, it's it's freeze dried, it's intact wrapper. We'll see, shall we? To the taste test. This is Moroccan lamb. So this is old school, this is what I used to have. Okay, available in lots and lots of places now. I'm gluten free. Not sure if I mentioned that before, not by choice, because gluten makes me ill, basically. So it's an N equals one experiment. I have gluten, it makes me sick. Fuck it, I'm gluten free. Look at the research, it's not good for you. So I'm gluten free, and that makes it even more difficult when you're traveling. You've got to go a bit funky, take some nuts and shit like that. Bah, or you know, you're very limited on a train, on a buffet car. Uh, excuse me, do you have something gluten free, please? that isn't lettuce. So anyway, because of that and lots of other things and because I can, I carry my own food. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna trial some of this new stuff. So on the train today, I made up some, some of this uh, Radix. So Radix is available from Survival Supplies Australia. They're here in Perth too, see the link. Look at their website, they post anywhere in Australia. They've got a fantastic amount of gear. They've got clothing gear, they've got food gear, they've got prepper gear, they've got survival gear. Anyway, they do this. I was in there picking up something, some masks, and uh, they had this funky new dehydrated food. It looks pretty good. I had today, in fact, it might, uh, it may also be mixed with a little bit of organic lamb and mint sauce. So one stain might be coffee, one stain might be mint sauce. But anyway, that was yum. Basically, I just poured 175 mils of hot water from my flask. You saw my previous review, what I was gonna carry in my, in my bag. It's just a thermos full of hot water, plus some rehydrated food, and hey presto, hey, you got a hot meal on the train that you don't, A, have to pay an arm and leg for, and B, you know, it's gluten-free and healthy and stuff. The other one is Mexican uh, chili with grass-fed beef. Hey, yum, so it's a, uh, Chili versus lamb again, that'll be good. And also, I thought quite surprisingly, they do this breakfast. I don't normally have breakfast in hotels, in fact, rarely. So today, or this week, I'll be reviewing the apple, cinnamon, and turmeric breakfast. Rehydrated with cold water, so it looks pretty lamb yummy. Also available from Australia Supplies. Survival Supplies Australia, down below. Hey, okay. uh, shopping in so many shops, I just can't remember, but they're the good guys. Also, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna make some coffee this tomorrow morning with my grinder, and we're gonna use the AeroPress kit, also available from uh, Leaf Beat Machine in Bibber Lake. Fantastic. So, that's good, that's me. Um, that's what we're gonna do. Apologize for not making a video on the train. As I said, I think I probably would do, but hey, look, you know, this lockdown, or it's not lockdown, this mask wearing kind of got sprung on us on the last minute. 
So, excuse the t-shirt, apologise for no video, but hey, live television, mate. Eh? How can you avoid it? So, until the next show, here we go.